Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. You got squash coming out of your ears? Let's do something about it. I'm going to do some leftover scraps out of the refrigerator and the deep freeze and we're going to make something out of them. So, here we go. Cook it from scratch. So, you're going to need some oil to coat the bottom of your pan, a half of a an onion, whether you want white or yellow, whichever you want, and then this is about two uh, medium yellow squash cut up. Now I had already frozen this, so I, I put them in the bigger chunks so they wouldn't just totally disintegrate when I was freezing them. And uh, just in case I wanted to deep fry them um, later after they thawed out. So this is what I'm going to do with them. And sit tight. Just um, cook these until your onions start to turn translucent and getting soft and then I will bring you back and show you the next step all right I've got these um, cooked till they're tender now uh, you can do this one of two ways what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little mini chopper and I'm going to let this cool off just a little bit put it in the mini chopper and cut it up kind of fine or you can go ahead and as you have your fresh squash you can grate it or just cut it real thin or however you want it. Um, let's not do chunks or anything like that, but get it pretty thin slices. Uh, you can quarter it, whatever you want to do. Uh, just get it real fine. And then you can either cut it up with your spatula if it gets soft enough. Um, or you can just use a little mini chopper. And that's what we're going to do today. So let me let this cool off just a little bit and then we will get to chopping. We're going to take some of our squash and put it in our mini chopper. And you want to go ahead and get you out a bowl that you can put this in because working with this it's uh, little quantities at a time. About halfway full. You don't want to do this very long because you don't want to make it into mush. 10 seconds. You just want it grated up just a little bit, just chopped. Put this in our bowl. Alright, I have a little um, silicone spatula. I like to get all these little goodies out of here. Oop. Get my stand. Alright, we're just going to keep going. Okay, so we have all of our squash and onion that we cooked, and it's all finely chopped up. To this, we're going to start by adding a half a cup. I like to use all-purpose flour. You can, I mean, uh, self-rising flour. You can use all-purpose flour if you would like, and you can try one of each and see which one you like better. All right, and we need to mix this up a little bit because I got to see what it looks like. Yeah, again, a, a pinch here and a dash there and stir it up. Let me see what it looks like. That's this, that's this kind of recipe. And then I also need one egg that we're going to put in here. Let me go get it. Alright, 
one egg. Into the bag it goes. All right, we gotta get this mixed up real well. And this is where you don't want your squash to be too terribly hot because you don't want it to cook your egg. Did I say that go everywhere? <laughs> Here we went on my shoe. I got several jobs going on in here tonight. It must fry an okra. Ain't that purdy? Get your purdy. All right, so I started out with about a half a cup of flour, and I'm gonna put about a quarter more. And it may just be the the oil that's in the squash here where I was cooking it. Anybody know what we're making yet? I do. Alright. It's got to be able to stick together. Hold its shape. Okay. We're going to use the same pan. Where is it? We're eating the okra. Ain't going to have enough for me. Alright. Put some oil in our pan here. And this is just going to be enough to coat it about 80%, okay, 80% of your pan. Turn it on medium high, and you can see I left some of the bits in there from where we cooked it, some of the, the onions and stuff in there, that's fine. That is fine. Let the oil heat up just a little bit. Ready. All right, while you were waiting to heat the oil up, make sure you put everything up. Clean up as you go. Go ahead and get you a plate and a napkin, paper towel, put on top. And then we're going to put out about a quarter of a cup onto the skillet and mash it out. Let me see if I can move y'all up where you can see something. Ah. In my burner, so. <laughs> no, <I dropped> <laughs> All right. Now we can see. Got a quarter cup in there. Take your fork and smash it flat. Kind of like making pancakes. Smash it flat. You guys guessed we're making squash patties extra squash leftover squash whatever you want to make something new this is it you cook them on I have my stove a little bit above medium high and also as you're making your batter um, you can go ahead and put salt, pepper, whatever herbs you want to in it. I just like mine plain Jane um, with some salt and pepper in it. Mix it up. And what we're watching for now, it's just like we do with pancakes. Uh, watch for the edges to be turning a, a light golden toasty brown. Light tan. And if you need to... If you have, um, I know, sure, probably pretty sure everybody has one of these, but has one of those eyes that, or one of those pans that cooks faster in the middle. Oh, yeah. Just turn your patties around as you, um, as you're cooking. Almost ready. Hang tight. Okay, for you people that can't wing it, 
You're going to do this three to five minutes. And you can take a peek every so often and look under there. We're going to flip them over. Now, the way I like to flip them so I don't burn myself, of course, is away from me. But I like to flip towards the edge of a pan. So that way, if it splashes, it splashes towards the edge of the pan. And not on me. Alright, so there's our golden brown. Now we do it three to five minutes on the other side. Alright guys, so there you have it. There's one more recipe that you can do with making up uh, scratch recipes. And we're finishing these up. I will post a picture of them whenever we get done. Uh, before we eat them all up because they're going to be gone pretty quick. Um, so I hope you enjoy. This is very easy. You can also do this with zucchini. You can do this uh, actually with black eyed peas. Um, you can do this. You can do it with okra. If you want to chop up okra really fine, you can bread it and do it that way. Um, just throw it in like the squash. So there's a, a, a numerous amount of vegetables that you can put in this. Um, and you just make it to your own liking and I hope you guys enjoy I can't wait to share with you another recipe with cooking from scratch and we will see you next time bye guys